We're going down. Down. In an earlier round. And Sugar, we're going down swinging. Just kidding, we're not going down swinging because the Vancouver Canucks just got shot out 3 to nothing by the Vegas Golden Knights. This game was quite weird because the Canucks got 19 shots on goal. And if you're thinking, hey, that's still a little bit low, yeah, that is a little bit low. In fact, that is tied for the lowest amount of shots on goal in one game by one team this season. And like three of the Canucks' last few shots, they came within the last two minutes of the game. So the Canucks were actually on pace to breaking the lowest shots in a game this season by one team, but a late surge of effort from guys like Mott and Spooner and all that, it got the boys up on the board in terms of the shot column towards the end. So now instead of breaking the record this year, we tied it. Which is not nice to look at. Overall, though, this is not necessarily going to be a game review video. If you're looking for that, I guess I can sum things up in three sentences. Jacob Markstrom is really, really, really good, but he can't do anything if the team in front of him isn't getting any chances. The Vegas Golden Knights, to their credit, though, defense was solid, offense was solid, power play was solid, but it wasn't on the board. They got so many chances, and it was incredible to watch. This was a great hockey game, just in terms of seeing one team totally assert their dominance over the other. And that's what this game was. And to Vancouver Canucks fans, the takeaway from this game is that we really aren't ready and that we really need to wait for next year. The team just didn't have any bite this game. Going through the first two periods, the Canucks only had three high danger shot attempts, something like that. It was quite remarkable just to see how unproductive the Canucks were. And now, just looking at the standings, there is a minute left in the Colorado-Anaheim game. The Ducks are up to one, and it looks like they're going to be getting one, if not two, points throughout this next little bit here. That kind of tightens things up a little bit in terms of the wildcard race, or at least the last place race, as I'm going to start calling it now, because the Vancouver Canucks, they're so far out. Seven points out of the playoffs. They have 16 games remaining. I don't think they're going to catch up. And the Canucks now, they're below 500. I don't see things working out in terms of the playoffs. But that is fine to me. You guys know that it is fine to me. And looking at these games, we're just itching through it. We're going down, guys. And these are the last few games here that will really determine what our draft spot is going to be. Because everybody's kind of taking their licks and everybody's kind of starting to win games now. And they're starting to get points, except for the Canucks. We're still in that sixth last spot in the league. We're still tied with Chicago and Edmonton, but these two teams have themselves games today and tomorrow. The Vancouver Canucks next game is on March the 6th. So by the time we play the Maple Leafs, we most likely will be in a lower spot and out of this three-way tie. All the other teams though, they're coming up quickly. Anaheim, New Jersey and all that. We'll see where things end up, but right now, we're going down. It's plummeting down the score sheet, and we're not getting anything done in terms of the guys that we want to score, in terms of the guys that we want to produce points. The only really good Canuck that we've seen over the past little bit has been Markstrom, and I feel kind of bad about that, but hey, Quinn Hughes is coming, right? That's going to be amazing. Even though we're going to lose games still, even with Quinn Hughes, it's going to be fantastic seeing him here. And I can't wait, man. Please just give it to us already. The Vegas Golden Knights dominated this team and we need people that can carry the puck up and produce offensive opportunities. Uh, we're going down. We're going down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plus, in the show, slash 9 gaming. And bye.